Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this because I've been seeing this uh, post, but I never uh, go into it. I just read the post, and from there, I have my own feelings about this. But these are the issues that most biological women are having with the trans women today. And let me start by saying this. I have nothing against the LGBTQ community, all right? I have friends and family that are part of the community, close friends and family. So let me just put that out there. Um, what I do want to say, though, is when it comes to the trans women, a lot of times, and it's not all of them, but a lot of times I feel like they invade biological women's spaces, okay? And when I say invade, I don't mean like just asking questions or, you know, being respectful towards them. I mean in a way that makes biological women feel very uncomfortable, okay? And so what a lot of biological women feel like is, why aren't you talking to the men about these things, okay? We feel like if you really wanted to help the cause with women as a whole, you being a man, you probably would have more leeway with other men than we do, okay? Because you know them because you are a man, all right? At the end of the day, there's only two genders. Let me put this out here too, all right? If you're going to get triggered, leave now. and give y'all some time, all right? But at the end of the day, there's only two genders. And if you're in a relationship, you're normally going to see a masculine and a feminine. Somebody's going to play the role of the masculine most of the time. Someone's going to play the role of the feminine. Let's just get that out there too. You are still a man if you are a trans woman, okay? At the end of the day, you are not going to know what it's like to be or feel like a natural born woman. Just like a natural born woman will never know what it's like to be uh, a man, all right? Uh, just like a transgender uh, man will never know what it's like to be a biological man, all right? So that's one thing that we don't understand. It just seems like a lot of what we have for us is being invaded, okay? Uh, what I would suggest is that trans women get their own space because what you're going through is going to be very unique. I'm not going to be able to know what it's like to be a man and still present as a woman, okay? Because I'm a biological woman. So I'm not putting anyone down, but this is just some of the thoughts that um, biological women do think, some of the things that we do talk about. Uh, number two, many trans women have a lot of disrespect towards the way a biological female's body works, okay? One thing that we have to understand is this. Biological women have children. Biological women have cycles, all right? We all know that, okay? If a woman did not birth you, you would not be here. All right, somebody carried you, somebody birthed you, somebody nurtured you, okay? So to talk disrespectfully about a woman's body, but then expect for a woman to have your back and go to bat for you when biological men are threatening your life and everything like that, you need to reconsider that, seriously, all right? Show some respect for the women in this world. That's just another thing I wanted to say. It almost seems like... A lot of, and I'm not saying all, but it seems like a lot of trans women want the benefits of being a woman without having to pay the dues that women pay, all right? And a lot of times, you, a lot of them think it's one way, but when they get into it, they see that it's a lot harder being a woman than what they thought it was, all right, if that makes any sense. Um, number three, um, this kind of goes with uh, what I said before, but taking away women's products, all right, uh, trying to make them gender neutral or renaming them or whatever, just to be, um, you know, unisex friendly or however you want to say that. I don't even know how you say that. If it's a woman's product, it's for biological women. You're not going to be using them anyway. Please leave them alone. All right. Be respectful enough. All right. We're not going in um, trying to change, you know, men's products or everything. It just seems like to an extent men or trans women or whatever you want to call. It just seems like they want to come and take over what women are doing or what they have. All right. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, the next thing I want to say 
is using intimidation and violence towards women that don't agree with you or that are telling you what the issues are, okay? That's something that every woman is going to face sooner or later in her life, all right? Because no matter what you say or do, you are still a man. If you go out into, if a um, trans woman goes out to the street, all right, and fights a biological man, nine times out of ten, that's going to be a pretty good fight, all right? Because there's still two men fighting. If a biological woman is to go up against a trans woman, she is more likely not going to win because she's still a woman. She was born a woman. Okay, we all know that men are physically stronger than women. All right, so that's what I'm saying. A lot of times, transgender women, they will be disrespectful and intimidate or threaten a woman with violence or just some kind of mental manipulation. It's like... The gender reassignment has changed, but in a lot of ways, the thinking hasn't. And I'm not saying that all men do this, but I'm saying there's a lot that do, all right? When the insults don't work, that's when the violence comes into play. Let's just put that out there, because we all know there's some truth to that, whether we want to admit it or not. Um, also, just thinking that you're in competition with a biological woman for men or anything else. There is no competition, okay? You cannot compete where you do not compare, all right? I don't know any biological woman that feels threatened in any way by a trans woman taking the men or her men or anything like that. If you as a trans woman, if a trans woman wants to be with a man, biological woman, like, you go right ahead, all right? Because we're not in competition. We're completely different. You are still a man, at the end of the day, your thinking is still going to be like that of a man. And a lot of times, even though you may dress it up or get the surgeries and things like that, you're still going to act in the way a man would. All right? That's just like if a trans woman, a um, trans man was to, um, you know, do the same thing. She's still going to be a woman at the end of the day. She's still going to think the way a woman thinks. All right? So there's no comparison. These are two completely different subjects. Let's just get that out of the way, all right? So, I think I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> uh, but that's how a lot of different um, biological women feel, okay? And I just want to know what you guys think in the comments, all right? And like I said before, I don't have anything against anyone. I'm against violence against anyone. I'm against disrespect of any kind. But if I feel that way, I'm like that across the board, okay? Yeah, I do think that people should be respected, whatever they decide to do. But it's not right for you to try to push your views on someone else and then feel some kind of way when they don't agree. All right, well, hey, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. I forgot.